Hi there, I'm Jan Rössler. Today I'd like to introduce a new Sunny Island Dash 12 generation to you and show you how to configure its settings using the web-based user interface Web UI. We are already connected to the Sunny Island. It's very easy to connect via Wi-Fi, respectively wireless LAN or wire Ethernet for cable-bound communication. You can dial into the Sunny Island directly from your smartphone or tablet or simply log in from your PC. Once you've been connected, you will see this home screen. Select your user group, typically installer, enter your password and you're ready to go after clicking on login to the next step. I will do just that now. When commissioning for the first time, you automatically start with the first step, network configuration that you can see here. Here we can see which network our sunny island is connected to. The integrated Wi-Fi wireless LAN interface can be used locally, for example, for commissioning and maintenance purposes. But in our example, we are now connected to the sunny island through an Ethernet cable and see the following screen. Here we don't have to change anything, so we simply just scroll down and click on Save and Next to go to the next step. Now let's look at the setting date and device time. We normally don't have connection to the internet in an off-grid system and therefore have to switch automatic time synchronization to off. Once this is done, you should also set the local clock of the sunny island as accurate as possible since all the events from now on get locked with this clock. Now you just have to choose your local time zone. Our example takes place in Kenya, so Nairobi is fine. And once again, click on Save and Next. This step, configure the energy meter, is generally not required for off-grid systems. So we can simply skip it directly by clicking on Save and Next again. Now we are already at the fourth configuration step select application. Here you just click on new system configuration and then please click on start the new system configuration in the pop-up that now appears. Don't worry, this takes a bit of time but that's normal. Below the title select application you can choose the mode of operation or application for the sunny island. In our today's example, we choose function for off-grid. And in the next input field, we choose the desired grid voltage and frequency. The sunny island is supposed to generate, in our example today, a voltage of 230 and a frequency of 50 Hz. So this is what we choose here. And you guessed it, just click on save and next again. In this step, system configuration, the sunny island can be configured as a single or three phase system and as a single or multi cluster system. In our example today, we want to build a three phase system with three sunny island inverters, but not more than that. So only choose the single cluster after that, not the multi cluster operation. We also have an external generator connected to our example off-grid system today. So this is why we choose a grid creating generator. And then type in 50 amps at nominal current since this is the generator's nominal current according to its type plate. Since we are building a three-phase system the other two sunny islands will be detected automatically and shown here with their serial numbers. Also, their phase assignment is shown here and should be double checked by you. Once that's okay, you can click on save and next again. The next step, grid management and service configuration is automatically skipped since there is no use for it in an off-grid application. And this is why now we are straight at the step 7 battery configuration. 
The Sunny Island product family is equipped with an integrated battery management for lead acid batteries of type FLA, so flooded lead acid, and VRLA, wealth regulated lead acid. It is also possible to connect an external battery system, which is typically used with other battery technologies like lithium ion. You can find a list of the currently approved battery manufacturers and types in the download section of our homepage. So here we simply choose the battery type, VRLA in our example, leave its nominal voltage at 48 volt and type in its rated C10 capacity, 1200 amp hours in our example, so that the Sunny Island knows what it's working with. And now we are just about done with the whole setup, so just click on save and next again. At the end of the setup, you will see a summary like this of all the parameters you put in, which gives you a good chance for a final check. So once you're happy with all of your parameter settings, you can now click on continue that you will see when scrolling down. And then the Sunny Island is ready to go. You will now see the Sunny Island's dashboard with all the information you need. And as I said, the Sunny Island is fully operational and ready to go now.